Hey, good morning. I just wanted to follow up on this, the idea of redeeming the time. You know, the first video that I sent out, I talked to you about memorizing scripture, understanding that God has given us a command to memorize the scripture. And, and the goal of scripture memory is so that we won't sin against God. A week ago, I, I talked to you about memorizing Psalm 1, six verses in that psalm. And, and, and I just challenge you to, to, to memorize that, to hide that in your heart. And then the next time I talk to you about meditating on scripture, just how we might meditate on his word and get to know him and think deeply about the word of God, thinking about using the scripture and memorization and meditation like a tea bag in hot water, it just seeps and takes control. We want the word of God to seep into our life and control. I was reading this past week and, and as I was reading, I came across this, this, this quote. It said, in contemporary society, our adversary majors in three things, noise, hurry, and crowds. I think about that for a moment. Richard Foster is writing it in his book, Celebration of the Disciplines. And, and, and the truth is, while noise is probably a little higher in your home right now if you have young children, the truth of the matter is, for many of you, noise has been taken away right now. Hurry has stopped. We, we've slowed down. Our society has slowed down intentionally. We, we have to. We, we need to listen to what the governor has to say. We, we need to stay at home as much as possible and only go out when it's essential that we go out. Crowds have, have ceased. We have an opportunity right now like no other time perhaps in our life, to spend time with God, seeking to redeem this time and to grow as a disciple, preparing ourselves to be disciples who make disciples. As, as I was reading this week, I, I came across another quote. Peter Gregg was talking about uh, prayer, and he said, we need to keep it simple, keep it real, and keep it up. I want to take that same idea and just apply it to to our um, learning to, to grow in the Lord and, 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 and memorizing scripture and meditating on scripture. I just want to encourage you to, to keep it simple. Just stay at it. Keep it real. It, it, it's, it's work. It's hard work. I understand it's hard work. But can you think of any work that's greater than this work of hiding God's word in your heart that you may not sin against God? And then keep it up. Stay at it. By now, you probably have Psalm 1 down. I want to encourage you to go after another psalm, to go after another passage of Scripture and start memorizing that passage by reading it 10 times, by quoting it 10 times, and then getting it in your heart and just simply meditating on that passage of Scripture. I, I finished this morning Psalm 5. And, and let me just tell you how it went. I got up this morning. I... I went out on the front porch. I took my book of Psalms and, and I sat down and I opened it to Psalm 1. And without looking at it, I just kind of held it like this. And I just said, blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked or stand in the way of sinners or sit in the seat of scoffers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And on his law, he meditates day and night. He's like a tree. And I just went through that psalm. And then mentally and physically, I just switched over to Psalm 2. And, and I quoted it, why do the nations rage and the people's plot in vain? The kings of the earth set themselves. The rulers take counsel together against the Lord, against his anointed, saying, and I just walked through that psalm and, and, and just went through it in my mind. And then I came to Psalm 3, and, oh, Lord, how many are my foes? Many are rising against me. Many are saying of my soul, there is no salvation for him and God. And I quoted through that psalm. Came to Psalm 4, answer me when I call, O God of my righteousness. You have given me relief when I was in distress. Be gracious to me and hear my prayer. And then I went just physically, mentally, I went to Psalm 5. Mental pictures on the psalm of, of that passage of Scripture. And I walk through Psalm 5. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my groanings. And, and I just walked through Psalm 5. And today was the first day that I've been able to quote the entire psalm. And, and I walked through it. I meditated on it. I prayed about it. I spent time there. I, I just walked through it and thought how God was my shield. I thought about 
the wicked are not so, they're like the chaff that the wind drops away from Psalm 1. I went to Psalm 5 and I thought about how it says that, that God hates all wickedness. And I just began to pray and ask God to show me if there's wickedness in my life. I just meditated on that scripture. I thought about that scripture. I, I prayed that scripture. I want to talk to you more a little bit later this week about what it means to, to pray the scriptures and, and, and just do that. I think it comes out of our meditation. You know what I did after that? I went straight to Psalm 6. I went to Psalm 6 and I went to verse 1. Oh Lord, rebuke me not in your anger, nor discipline me in your wrath. I read that 10 times. I quoted that 10 times. I began to work on Psalm 6. I just began to memorize it. And I, I just poured it in my mind and continued to do that. I, I just want to pray that you'll keep it simple, that you'll keep it real, and that you'll keep it up. There is no better use of your time than to spend time alone with your Father and growing in him, in his word, meditating on it, memorizing his word, meditating on his word, and then as we'll see, praying his word back to him. Let's redeem this time. Let's use it for our good so that we can be his disciples. Then we can be preparing ourselves to make disciples as we go. Use the, the, the internet, use the phone, use the advantages that you have before you to continue to speak to other people and to check on people. I just want you to know that I love you. I can't wait to see you. I'm looking forward to being with you. But until that time, let's go together to the word and let's continue to study. Let me know. What Psalms are you going to be memorizing? What passage are you going to next? Maybe Psalm 23, maybe Psalm 100, maybe one of the last five Psalms, 146 and 7, 8, 9, or 150, just memorizing those Psalms. Maybe 1 Corinthians 13 or Ephesians or one of the other passages of Scripture. I just want to challenge you. Get into the Word. Memorize that Word. Meditate on what you're memorizing and then pray that passage back to God. I love you. I'm here for you. If you need me, please call me. I'm praying for you. Can't wait to see you. God bless you.